Hi water sign, welcome to my channel. We're doing your this uh, December, <laughs> November the tenth daily love soulmate. I'm sorry for um for uh you know erratic again. Um as everyone knows, I do cleanse energy every end of the month. That one came a little late, so I had to deal with it. <laughs> I had the weekly, daily, and stuff. So the monthly is a big shift, especially come um planets are getting nearer and nearer my chart right now, getting closer and closer. So it's, it, it intensifies. Anyhow, I'm here, guys. It's for daily love soulmate, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, um, Sun, Moon, and Rising. We're going to look at the uh, situation forward, possible outcome in our extended reading, how it pans out, and also how your soulmate feels. So we say we get both in the extended reading now. So let's see now here first what is going on with your soulmate. You and your soulmate here. Okay, I guess we're starting. You have your King of Swords. Can be the person you're connecting with. Air sign, of course, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Or this is you having some sort of plan. Can be a, f a person who appears to be cold because they're, know, as an air energy, it's hard to understand them because they're, um, how to say that? Their energy is more of a direct to the point. So you can be having this experience with your soulmate that is very direct to the point. And is it, there's a tendency, like if you're a sensitive water sign, you will get hurt. However, they're practicing their highest vibration over here, meaning they're more logical, okay, with the connection that you guys have. And sometimes if we put logic with emotion, it doesn't work at all. Those, it's like, you know, oil and water, it doesn't mix, right? But logic is very important because realistic things has to happen first before we can manifest or before we can move forward. The king of swords, you know, is a moving energy. The kings are all action takers, right? Um, regardless of the um, element. This action taker, though, will make sure you cross the bridge regardless of the situation. No emotions attached. We go because this is what's the right path. So this can be both of you in the situation that you guys are right now, being cold to each other, but knowing where it's leading into. Okay, It's its highest form. Okay, something flipped out. You have here the high priestess. This is knowing, see? The high priestess, you know, doesn't share the knowledge. So someone here has a plan. Someone here sees the future, basically. High priestess is also intuitive. And as all water sign, intuitive and, you know, we, um, you know, you are created to be intuitive. Um, you know where it's sitting into and you have more faith in you. Okay? And that's why you just do it. You do it because it's like, oh, I know how, I know how, where it's leading to. I know where it's going to. Okay, so don't focus on the sign, focus on the energy. I know where it's leading to, and I will just, you know, put in the action, put in the work. When you do this, the other soulmate feels you're cold. You even feel you're cold with the soulmate. You probably just did this in, with the person, and you said, you, you're just be, being like, let's just do this. You know, we don't know. You know what is going on in the future. Yes, you have in, this intuitive feeling. I know where it's leading into, but we just have to do this. Something like that. That's what I'm sensing here. This is also a person who's doing a lot of research. Can be in 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 uh, you know in the in the occult side. From what I'm sensing, someone who's very knowledgeable in the occult. Okay, someone who practices astrology. Someone who who believes in signs and symbols and synchronicity. Synchronicity. Okay, and that's where you find like I just know. You know, that's where you rely on basically here. And you're either you're not telling the other person or you, you basically both have this intuitive feeling in the connection. And it's like, well, you know, I saw their name. I asked for a sign. I prayed for a sign. Da, 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 da. And you get this information and you just do it. It's a download, it's called. The challenge over here, it can be a Taurus also, is changing the moon into a sun, a an enlightenment part. Okay, real calm. You have your Knight of Wands, the situation that you're in with your soulmate. This is being focused on one situation only and where it's leading into. The Knight of Wands is uh, all knights are moving again, of course, and very fast. Now, this fast moving energy is where basically your mind is taking you. Your mind is probably running like 100 miles per hour while your actions is not. Okay? Because this is all, it's all inside your head, all inside your head. Because here, showing also, you have passion connected to it. You have this uh, wand is, uh, is, is a doer in the sense that, again, it follows its uh, heart. It follows its, um, you know, uh, the, the fiery nature in going with it. When you go with it here, is that you're going through it um, in a way that um, nobody can stop you. That's one thing. The night, nobody 
you just gonna go. You gotta go, you gotta go, okay? Can be a fire sign also connecting with you, water sign. And they come with you, okay? But you're not clear. You're also not sure. It's like, oh, I don't understand them. They come in fast and then now they're cold. They come in fast, talks to me with the Knight of so with the King of Swords. Very blunt though. Can be a Sunshine also, such Leo or, or, um, or Aries. Fire signs are very blunt. They say it how it is. And then that's why sometimes you can you will be this high priestess. You're gonna go within, okay? Because you're trying to sort things out in your head, and then later on you're gonna take action. Someone here is putting a rush energy again, and someone here is going within, analyzing why are we having, why are we going fast and slow, fast and stop like that. So someone here is like thinking really deeply, why? Why are we having this in an energy? Okay. So I'm gonna continue this reading, guys, on how it pans out in this situation, and also how your soulmate feels. Thank you very much for patiently watching this channel. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.